Hi, I'm Kristen Camella, I'm the Chief Science Officer for BioHeart, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about my background and history in the biotech field. My degree is originally in chemical engineering, and I did my undergraduate at the University of South Florida and went to graduate school at The Ohio State University. And while at Ohio State, I began working with cord blood derived cells, and in particular, looking at CD34 positive cells from the cord blood. In this case, what I was doing was a technique called magnetic cell sorting. So all of my thesis work had to do with using nanoparticle magnets to isolate and separate cells based on their protein expression. So in particular, I was looking at cells that express CD34 and isolating these from the cord blood. Uh, at the time, we didn't necessarily know the importance of CD34 positive cells uh, but recognized that this was an important population within the stem cell uh, grouping that came from the, the cord blood. After graduate school, I had an opportunity to work for a company called Osiris Therapeutics and worked with Osiris for several years, uh, in particular focused on a product called Chondrogen. In this case, we were looking at using bone marrow-derived stem cells for uh, meniscal repair, uh, specifically looking at patients who had a meniscal repair an injury and having a partial meniscectomy and then using the bone marrow derived stem cells to help uh, improve the recovery of that meniscal tissue. Uh, what we would do is culture expand the bone marrow derived cells and we were using an allogeneic source of uh, stem cells, meaning that we were obtaining the stem cells from a non-matched donor. Uh, in this case, after delivering the cells, what we were able to demonstrate is that we could in fact grow new meniscal tissue and uh, patients were experiencing uh, much better results after having had the stem cells injected into their knee joints. After working at Osiris, I had an opportunity to move to New Orleans and work at Tulane University. In this case, I was a supervisor for uh, the Good Manufacturing Practices Facility at the Tulane Center for Gene Therapy. Uh, what I was doing there was focusing on using bone marrow-derived stem cells for spinal cord injuries. In this case, we were using culture-expanded cells in an autologous way, meaning taking the cells from the same patient uh, back to that same patient and looking at spinal cord injuries. Uh, we were able to do a lot of great work there at Tulane, uh, including demonstrating that we could recover bladder function and that would, we could recover uh, some of the, the movement that had been lost as a result of the spinal cord injuries. About 10 years ago, I had the opportunity to move to South Florida and begin working with a company called BioHeart. Uh, here at BioHeart, we've done a variety of different things, and while I've been here at BioHeart, have worked with many different types of cells, uh, including muscle-derived stem cells, which are from uh, the skeletal muscle in the leg, and also adipose or fat-derived cells. Uh, while working at BioHeart, uh, I've been involved with a variety of different products, including uh, the regulatory side, the clinical side, the manufacturing side, as well as the quality side. And I currently serve as the chief science officer for the company.